हेलो दोस्तों नमस्कार आई एम जे के इन द सीरीज ऑफ कंक्रीट टेक्नोलॉजी वी आर लर्निंग फ्रॉम डॉक्टर के मोहन सर डॉक्टर के मोहन सर वाज फॉर्मर डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ एन सी सी वी एम नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर के मोहन सर टू टेल एस अबाउट श्रिंकेज ऑफ कंक्रीट सर श्रिंकेज ऑफ कंक्रीट के बारे में हम लोगों को इलाइटन कीजिए इसके क्या क्या फैक्टर्स होते हैं इसको रिड्यूस करने के लिए और किन किन बातों का ध्यान देना रहता है ड्यूरिंग कंक्रीट मेकिंग प्रोसेस द वॉल्यूम चेंजेस इन द कंक्रीट ड्यू टू लॉस ऑफ मॉइस्चर इज नोन एज श्रिंकेज नाउ टाइप्स ऑफ श्रिंकेज देर आर फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ श्रिंकेज नंबर वन इज प्लास्टिक श्रिंकेज नंबर टू इज ड्राइंग श्रिंकेज नंबर थ्री इज ऑटोजीनियस श्रिंकेज नंबर फोर इज कार्बोनेशन श्रिंकेज एंड नंबर फाइव इज थर्मल श्रिंकेज नाउ आई डिस्कस वन बाई वन नंबर वन प्लास्टिक श्रिंकेज प्लास्टिक श्रिंकेज है soon after the concrete is poured in the formwork while the concrete is still in plastic state the water evaporates and results in a reduction of volume this causes the concrete on the surface to collapse the aggregate particles or the reinforcement comes in the way of subsidence due to which cracks may appear at the surface or internally around the aggregate or reinforcement high water cement ratio badly proportioned concrete rapid drying greater bleeding unintended vibration etc some of the reasons for plastic shrinkage plastic shrinkage can be reduced mainly by preventing the rapid loss of water from surface it can be reduced by covering the surface with polyethylene sheeting immediately after it is poured an effective method of removing plastic shrinkage cracks is to revibrate the concrete in a controlled manner use of a small quantity of aluminum powder is also suggested to offset the effect of plastic shrinkage similarly expensive cement or shrinkage compensating cement also can be used for controlling the shrinkage during the settling of concrete number 2 is drying shrinkage the shrinkage that takes place after the concrete has set and hardened is called drying shrinkage the loss of free water contained in hardened concrete does not result in any appreciable dimension change it is a loss of water held in gel pores that is capillary water that causes the change in the volume that is decrease in volume under drying condition the gel water is lost progressively over a long time as long as the concrete is kept in dry condition the magnitude of drying shrinkage is also is also a function of the fineness of gel the finer the gel the more is the shrinkage the high pressure is steam cooled concrete with low specific surface of gel shrinks much less than that of normally cured cement gel concrete made with smaller size aggregate shrinks more than concrete made with bigger size aggregate drying shrinkage generally occurs in the first few months and decreases with time number 3 autogenous shrinkage in a conservative system that is where no moisture movement to or from the paste is allowed when temperature is constant some shrinkage may occur the shrinkage of such a conservative system is known as autogenous shrinkage autogenous shrinkage of my is of minor importance and is not applicable in practice to many situation except that of mass concrete in the interior of a concrete tank number 4 carbonation shrinkage carbonation shrinkage occurs when the calcium hydroxide in the hardened concrete reacts with carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere this leads to formation of calcium carbonate which has less volume as compared to calcium hydroxide and hence shrinkage takes place the carbonation carbonation penetrates beyond the exposed surface of concrete only very slowly the rate of penetration of carbon dioxide depends on the moisture content of the concrete and the relative humidity of the ambient medium carbonation of concrete 
mainly occurs at min medium humidity and results in impede strength and reduce permeability. Possibly because water released by carbonation promotes the process of hydration and also calcium carbonate reduces the void within the cement phase. Now, fifth one is thermal shrinkage. Concrete can be subjected to volume change with decrease in temperature. Decrease in temperature may take place when the early thermal temperature is fully depleted and go below the ambient temperatures. Another example is that of is that a roof slab or road pavement expands during the day and undergoes thermal shrinkage during night. Now I will discuss factors of affecting shrinkage. Number one, drying condition. One of the most important factors that affects concrete shrinkage is the drying condition, or in other words, the relative humidity of the atmosphere at which the concrete specimen is kept. If the concrete is placed in 100% relative humidity for any length of time, there will not be any shrinkage. Instead, there will be a slight swelling. Shrinkage is more at lower relative humidity. Number two is water symmetry. The shrinkage increases with the increase in the water symmetry. The richness of concrete also affects the shrinkage. Number three, effect of aggregate. Aggregate plays an important role in the shrinkage properties of concrete. The quantum of an aggregate, its size, and its modulus of elasticity influence the magnitude of shrinkage. The aggregate particles restrain the shrinkage of the paste. Thus, an increase in the proportion of aggregate causes a reduction in shrinkage. The shrinkage of paste and concrete is related in the following manner. Ht is equal to Sp under bracket 1 minus Va to the power n, where Sc is equal to shrinkage of concrete, Sp shrinkage of paste, Va volume fraction of aggregate, n is a constant whose experimental value varies from 1.2 to 1.7. A lightweight concrete made with lightweight aggregate, it, it gives it a higher shrinkage than normal weight concrete made with normal weight. This is because of the lower modulus of elasticity of lightweight concrete as compared to normal weight. Number four is time. The rate of shrinkage decreases rapidly with time. It is observed that 14 to 34 percent of the 20 year shrinkage occurs in two weeks, 40 to 80 percent of the 20 year shrinkage occurs in three months, and 66 to 85 percent of the 20 year shrinkage occurs in one year. Number fifth is cement cut. The shrinkage increases with cement cut. Number six is type of cement. OPC and rapid hardening cement shrink somewhat more than PPC and low cement. Number seven is admixtures. The shrinkage increases with the addition of calcium right and reduces with lime replacement. Number eight is size and shape of the specimen. The magnitude of shrinkage varies considerably with the size and thickness of the specimen. Shrinkage decreases with an increase in the size of the specimen. Number nine is volume to surface ratio of member. Shrinkage decreases with increasing risk of volume to exposed surface. Number 10 is temperature. Higher temperature will lead to higher evaporation, leading to higher drying shrinkage. Now I'll discuss effects of shrinkage. Shrinkage of concrete between movements, joints, causes joints to open or makes it wider. Therefore, joint must be designed to accommodate accommodate the whitening caused by shrinkage. Where other materials such as ceramic tiles are fixed on top of concrete surface, shrinkage of the concrete causes relative movement between the different materials. The resulting stresses can cause failure at the interface. If shrinkage is restrained, the concrete is, concrete is put into tension and where tensile strength becomes equal to tensile strength, the concrete cracks. Shrinkage of the concrete causes the concrete to grip reinforcing bars more tightly. 
This increases friction between concrete and steel and so improves bond strength, especially for thin bars. The deflection of flexural members is increased by shrinkage. This is because the lightly reinforced compression zone is free to shrink more than heavily reinforced tension zone. Shrinkage Sink causes a reduction in pre stressing force. When calculating pre stressing forces, designers take into account to ensure that residual stress is structurally adequate. Now, let us examine prevention of shrinkage. So, we can prevent shrinkage by providing sunsets in case of slab construction to control the surface temperature. Dampen the subgrade of concrete before placement. It is liable to water absorption but should not over damp. Try to start the curing soon after finishing. Use chemical admixture to trade the setting time of Dosto, agar aapko video pasand aya ho, to like aur share jarur kijega. जैसे कि जो इच्छुक इंजीनियर्स हैं एक्सपीरियंस पीपल हैं वो कंक्रीट टेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में सीख सके अगर हमारे चैनल पे अगर आप नए हैं तो सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें बेल आइकन को जरूर हिट कीजिएगा जिससे आपको लेटेस्ट अपडेट नोटिफिकेशन मिलता रहेगा हमारा मोटिवेशन बढ़ता रहेगा वीडियो देखने के लिए बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद